Hello, Karen here, and welcome back to my channel. I have another listening practice video for you today. We're going to be listening to a man and he's talking about his weekend. He mentions the Hard Rock Cafe, which is a restaurant chain. So they have a lot of restaurants all around the world. They might have a restaurant in your country. Have you been to this restaurant? What did you think of it? How was the food there? So he mentions the Hard Rock Cafe. What other places does he mention? That's my question for you today. What different places does he mention? I'll play the file for you four times as per usual, but today I'll play it once at normal speed first and then twice at a slightly slower speed and then one last time at the normal speed again. And then afterwards, we can talk about a few things that he says today. Okay, let's listen to him. We're gonna to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out to like eight and we're starving, it's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. We're gonna to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out to like eight and we're starving, it's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. We're gonna to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out to like eight and we're starving, it's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. We're gonna to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out to like eight and we're starving, it's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. We were going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was uh, completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out till like eight. And we're starving. It's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work off most of what I've eaten today. Now let's talk about a few things that he said. His first sentence was, we were going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. We're going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. In last week's video, I talked about the two ways that we can use was going to or were going to. Here, he used one of these ways. He's talking about something that they decided sometime in the past but it's not going to happen anymore. So here they decided sometime in the past, maybe earlier in the day, maybe yesterday, maybe last week, it doesn't matter when, it just has to be sometime in the past, they decided that they will go to this restaurant, but they're not going anymore. Why aren't they going anymore? Well, his second sentence was, oh, not shut, just booked out until like eight. Oh, not shut, just booked out till like eight. Booked out. This is when all the tickets to something have been bought or when all the tables or all the rooms have been booked. So you can't buy any more tickets or book a table or book a room. An example of this is during the Christmas New Year period. In this video, I talked a little bit about this time of year in Australia. It's a very relaxing time in Australia and it's also summer. So it's a very popular time for people to go out with family and friends and maybe even go on a holiday. So if you don't book your hotel or your Airbnb early, then you might find that all the places are already booked out. And same with popular restaurants. Some restaurants are so popular that they could be booked out weeks in advance. So you might have to put your name down on their waiting list. 
a list of people who are waiting for a table to become available if a table even becomes available. So they wanted to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the restaurant was booked out until eight o'clock. So all the tables at this restaurant were booked. All the tables were busy until eight o'clock. Oh, not shut, just booked out till like eight. And the next thing that he said was, and we're starving, it's like six. And we're starving, it's like six. Starving. This means that someone is dying because they don't have enough food. So obviously this is a very serious situation if someone is dying. But this doesn't happen very often, thankfully, so we don't usually use this word. So a more common way that this is used is to mean that you're just really, really hungry. It's informal, so this is a good one to use when you're talking to family and friends. So here he said, and we're starving, it's like six. So it's six o'clock now, and the Hard Rock Cafe is booked out until eight o'clock. And we're starving, it's like six. And notice that he said the word like before eight and six. I've talked about this word a few times in previous videos. It feels like I've talked about it a lot in recent videos, actually. Anyway, this word can be used in a lot of different ways. And one of the ways that people use this is as a filler word when they stop for a little while and think about what they want to say next. And using like before a number, like how he used it, this is quite common. Sometimes we do this when we want to emphasize a number, when we want to show the other person just how big the number is or how small the number is. Here he's talking about time. He's trying to tell us that eight o'clock is very late for them because they're very hungry now and it's only six o'clock. They don't want to wait until eight o'clock. And we're starving, it's like six. And then he says, I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel. So what's the answer to my question today? What other places did he mention? Well, we talked about the Hard Rock Cafe at the beginning of this video, and he also said the gym and the hotel. He's actually going to the gym in their hotel. A lot of hotels have a gym for their guests, and they must be staying at one of these hotels that has a gym. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel. And the second part of that last sentence was, so I'm hoping to work off most of what I've eaten today. So I'm hoping to work off most of what I've eaten today. To work off. This has two meanings and I think the way that he used it today is the more common way that we use this phrasal verb. When you work off a feeling, it means that you try and remove it by doing some exercise or just doing something that's quite physical. For example, if you had a very stressful day at work, you might want to work off that stress by going for a run. Or if you're really angry, you might want to work off that anger by hitting the punching bag at the gym. You can also use work off when you're talking about your weight. He said, I'm having a really bad weekend. I'm going to go to the gym later at the hotel. So I'm hoping to work off most of what I've eaten today. He said, I'm having a really bad weekend. Now, without any other information, I think he means that he's eaten a lot of very unhealthy food this weekend. 
and that's why he's going to go to the gym later to work off most of what he's eaten today. So he wants to do some exercise to remove some of the weight that he's probably gained because of all the bad food that he's eaten today or possibly all the bad food that he's eaten this weekend. So I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful. I would really appreciate it. Let's listen to him one more time at the normal speed. We're going to go to the Hard Rock Cafe, but the Hard Rock Cafe was completely shut. Oh, not shut, just booked out to like eight and we're starving. It's like six. I'm having a really bad weekend. We're going to the gym later at the hotel, so I'm hoping to work out for most of what I've eaten today. Thank you for watching today. Keep practicing, stay safe out there, and I shall see you in my next video. Bye. Okay, sorry, I'm recording. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm on my phone. Um, what was I talking about?